Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Worthy to be praised and adore lift those hands up and worship the Lord you're worthy you're worthy worthy to be praised and adore we'll give you your hands up and wave them to the Lord. You Lift up your hand and wave them before the Lord. For the Lord is mighty. Is powerful. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. And as we gather, may your spirit work within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship we'll be blessed because we came tell the lord i'll be blessed because i came the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases His mercy never will run to an end There are new every morning Great is thy faith If you know the Lord has delivered you from something, He has kept you alive. Raise your hand and tell Him you are faithful. Oh, there are new. Raboshete reboshete kare rebobo Tunes Oh Lord Great is thy faithfulness Great is thy 
thy faithfulness. Oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Thy change is not, thy compassion fail not. As thy has be forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercy I see all that has given thy hand has provided. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Great is thy faithfulness. Ha! Lord, to me. I don't know you, but me, I know this fact. That if the devil had his way, we will not be here today. Are you clapping for yourself? Or you're clapping for God? Somebody jumped to prove that you're still alive. You have to prove that you still have legs. Yeah. Hey. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, to me. Please, our base, don't increase. Stuff. Stay where you are. I don't know somebody here. You are too formal for me. With all the anointing you've drunk, the new wine, and the new wine, you'd be staggering, tipsy. You'd be clapping like. Hey, yeah. I have, I have my sisters here. Mbogo, they are here. And uh, um, you know they're always happy. They're always clapping. Here. Uganda, brothers and sisters, very few meters from here. Meter and tono kuvawa no. Very few meters from Mita here. Meter kuvawa no. Awali wobomwa. There was a bomb right there on a Sunday morning. Ruali kumacha kusande. So you are near the gates of hell. It shall not prevail against you. Clap for God with a powerful hand clap. Thank him. Ah. Hey. Somebody need to put on this screen for me, please. Because I need to make, make sure that I, I know what you are putting up there. And... Um, Lower the bass. Just, just give me a little. That, that's better. Don't, don't raise high. Just lower that. In Jesus' name. People who grew up in discotheques. If it is not hitting hard, they don't know. They don't make sure that its sound is good. Lift your hand and shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Why don't you lift up your hand and just laugh? Today, for the first time since COVID, of course we are here on the 31st, but 
We are back here. Feel like 77 days of glory. We you who didn't come for 77 you are about to come and feel it and too much bass just and keep it low thank you Jesus yes, you may be seated but before but, greet the person next so to you yeah. uh, how are you good to see you Hey, my, 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 man. Say hello to somebody next to you. Greet somebody next to you. Especially single brothers and sisters. This is your opportune moment to greet somebody. Yeah. People at the back, you're still, you're still greeting. Somebody bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Somebody bless the Lord. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Tonight is, is no other night you have ever been into. Tomorrow we have an overnight. And, uh, and, and God has given us a beautiful weather. Today and he's going to give up tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday we begin the seventh anointing. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have Dr. Rodney Howard Brown with us. Which is just Dr. Rodney Howard Brown. He is a man of many, uh, of a coat of many colors. When it comes to business, for the first time, I've never seen a preacher. He's been touring Africa. With a with an Airbus. His, his plane is his plane is an Airbus. Airbus. We've seen jets. But this is an Airbus, an yeah. airliner which carries 156 people, passengers. That's what he uses. And he's been on tour for 10 countries. I've known him for years. He's a man of revival. He's a man of the Holy Ghost. Many of you are going to be touched. If you have never been touched before, you're going to be touched by the Holy Spirit. And so, please, make sure you're here. We'll start in the morning. Afternoon, evening, morning, afternoon, evening. It's going to be like no other night you, nights you have ever been here. He's a man of God. That's why we've been uh, working so hard. We are preparing. Uh, already we have over, over 60 people who have already come from overseas. And so we are busy... Uh, you know, doing everything we can. And by God's grace, and uh, we, we're going to have a great time. So please, don't you miss it. Don't you miss it. A celebration begins tonight. You are becoming a new man. I say you are turning into... You're already a new man. You need to turn into a different man. <laughs> These three anointings are going to not leave you the same. And those of you watching by television, please just get ready. We are about to hear testimony that is going to make your head spin. Annette, Annette. Maitwe, Maitwe from college professor Edmonton, Canada. Edmonton, Canada. She's here to sow her seed of a thousand dollars. Where are you? Just wave your hand. We are glad you are here. Come on, give her a hand clap. In Jesus' name. We have got uh, Pastor Peace Barilake. Bazilake. 
Sinai Healing Center Church. Sinai Healing Center Church. It's a team of six people team with a special God. seed of a thousand, one million shillings towards Karamoja. Karamoja. Can somebody be kind enough and put this screen on? Or if it doesn't work, get me a, a, what, what, what works. I've been asking it for the past ages. Now, we have... Uh, before I share the word and we pray, because many of you are going to lay down here, and um, you're going to believe. That. Now, one of the of, of the amazing thing is we've been building drainages and we've been tiling this place, purifying the church inside and uh, working on the lounges because of so many leaders that are coming now. So, when you are here in 77 days of glory, where I'm standing all the way behind there, it was mud. It was dust. This very tree I'm looking at was dry. It woke up. After two years, it began to grow. Now we have If you came to become everything alive. in your life was dry, begin to fuck Okay. Eh. Now Kakati. Not only that, yeah, I'm on. Thank you. Um also Echidada. So we were in mud. It was entirely. You know. Apart from Kololo, yeah, uh, Kololo ceremonial grounds, I was working with an engineer today. All the way where the cars are parked and beyond, and all the way where we are and beyond. This is the only, it's only Kololo airstrip that looks like this. I want to thank God. At least we have a place where we can gather without paying. Somebody clap your head to Jesus. So when Pastor Benny comes, we'll have a crusade here. When Joyce Meyer comes, she will teach from here. Because you can have everybody around here. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus and give him the glory. Now, we have Pastor James Victor Lubwama. James Victor Lubwama. With a delegation of 77 members of Miracle Christian Fellowship in Nangabo. He's a son in the ministry. I'm going to invite him to come here. In Jesus' name. And the 77 people, I think they will, they will, they will, they will stand over here. Because on the stage we can have about few. But the few elders, leaders can come up. The rest of you can, can stand here. Here in front. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Maybe he will say it better. Pastor Ruama is uh, one of the many young people who was with us when we were in Chivao there. Chiwempe, Chiwempe there. there. At that time, he was a good singer. He joined the, many of you know, the Limitex and, and Fiona Wamala and, and others. Then the Lord called him to ministry. He was actually 
telling me this week. But the, the, the uniqueness about this testimony is that there is a God in this country who speaks. And he speaks to people. He literally speaks to people without knowing what he's telling other people. But when you come together and you put what he told you and what he told her or him, when you put it together, everything creates a great miracle for his glory and his glory alone. So, in his 70s, he has come with 77 people. Not because his church has 77 members. There are so many people online right now. People who are watching online. His church is full of thousands of people. Prophetically, he has carried 77 people. This is the eighth year of 77 days of glory. Why don't you get up on your feet and welcome the man of God in Jesus' name. Now, the place called Nangabo is where my father, our family, labored for years. My dad was uh, an Anglican minister. He was also an Anglican teacher, head teacher of schools. Of course, in those days, in the Anglican movement, if you are a teacher, you are also a lay leader. Or a preacher or a mubulizi. So, you could open the church wherever they open a school. It was a great strategy of reaching out the whole world. So my dad found himself that. And uh, that he could on Sunday lead the service and Monday to Friday he's a head teacher. When he retired from education he fully gave his life to serve the Lord. So he, wa, he, wa, he was moving he moved from a mubulizi to a reverend a canon at the time he died. And so that's where many of us who are younger you know, that was the church. It's a distance to walk from Masoli to Nangabo. Kitegomba, actually, there was Nangabo, there was Kitegomba. We used to call it Because actually there was nothing good about it. But amazingly, that's where many of us we used to walk from Masoli, which is a good Two, two miles on foot. And you have to go by 5.30. So we used to go with my bigger brothers. Because we used to drum. Play the the to wake up the Christians. You would uh, drum three times. On the third times they know service is about People didn't start. use watches. It was drum beats. Once the drum beat, they will know service is about to start. You would hit it at 7, at 8, and even at 9 a.m. Then the service begins. That kind of drum beat. Those are the drums we used to beat. And uh, so, uh, and the people will know. Saturday morning you would go after digging about 11 a.m., you would go and dry the drums so that they may stretch. So so we used to love that and They would give you money to buy ghee. Instead of buying a lot of ghee, you would buy half. Or you would go through the Christians. We need the gift for the drums. So you would keep the money, Mama or Dad, to buy mandazi. Those are the, the sins we committed and we repent. It's you who committed big sins. We just eat, we ate money for gift. Or eating the remaining Holy Communion they used, they used to tell you go buy bread we used to buy that loaf if it was your turn you had to cut off this top layer 
Get that inside Muriyo Square. Cut it in square. Without any things that is not in order. So, those off layers, those o, off cuts. If you are the one who cut the off cuts, you used to make others feel like, you know, wash my shirt. Those off layers, 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 those off Weekly, every week. Every week. Every week. Every week. So that's where God called him to serve. In that area, we knew many places in Maule, Nangabo, Nangabo Mochiti, Mochiti, even up to Chitetika. And um, Pere, 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 and you had to walk on foot to school. And uh, but we made it finally. You had to walk with bare feet. So I can look at my heel and I wonder if, because it's so. Let's there. welcome Pastor Rubwama and the church from there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad to be here today. You may take your seats. I'm so honored to be here today. I honor Pastor for giving me this opportunity to speak to you today. The truth is, we have come with a group of all these people, including the leaders up here. Many others are watching online. They are following what we have come to do. It's true. Before a foundation stone was laid here, we used to come from the old church and we would slash. We would jump over streams. Whenever I see what is here, I prove that God is real. From the old church, you could not think that this would happen. I want to tell you, be firm. There is a living God in this place. And I want to bless the Lord. Last year, God spoke to me. He's been speaking to me several times. We would come and sow seed and go back in the village. But even this time round, in June last year, it was about one year and four months now, God spoke to me and told us to raise money in dollars. Furniture. So that we may buy furniture. But we don't we don't have to buy that furniture from Kampala. We had to go to Turkey. And we make custom made furniture. So we raise the money. Twenty seven thousand US dollars. So we bought the furniture. Then we shipped it. There was some delay. But I had peace in my heart about it. There was a serious delay. But when I came to meet Pastor this week, I was, I was set loose because I realized why the delay was there. Even though I had the voice of God, little did I know what God was up to. I only realized it this week. I left, this, I left this place besides myself. I said, oh Lord, you can really put things in order. And today, we came to present our seed and to show you what costed that amount of money. 
We are not going to unwrap everything. We are only going to show you three pieces. So that, you, so that you may know what costed all that money. I request it to bring me three pieces. We thank the Lord so much. You unwrap. But it's the one of us. Pastor Lubama is a humble man. Remember. About a week and a half, I was telling you we need furniture. They told us 120 million worth of furniture that they told us. And I told you openly, even throughout the services I told you, the Lord spoke yeah, to pastor. When did God speak to you, Pastor Luwana? One year and four months ago, so, Sixteen months ago, the Lord told people in Nangabo, you're going to buy furniture and take it to Miracle Center. Now we here, he told us to, take, take to prepare the VIP lounges in a little while. That is the ongoing work here. Now this furniture could not have come in the current rooms we occupy now. It doesn't belong to a room. This kind of furniture is found in lounges. We have gone to president's house. <laughs> Go work camera go. Nkura bida wano biyo kute. Wano we nkura bida kuluti imbe. Mutu laga screen in gana yomu eri. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, two presidential room suites. The Lord told us to lounges. two presidential lounges. We didn't know where the price was. The price they quoted for us, Pastor, was 120 million. Those are furniture from Uganda. Now, this kind of couch. These are the ones. Your pieces, Sato. They only brought three pieces. We have gone to State House. Over Kenya. Or in Kenya, South Sudan. South Sudan. South Sudan over Panama. Whether in Panama. These are the kinds you find. In presidential houses and state houses. Presidents are not small people. Except ours. Except ours. Uh, those presidents are always big men. Even they are small. When you sit in such a chair, oh, you become more honorable. Mm. Mm. It seems it has hit you hard. You are smitten. Yeah. Please don't unwrap everything. There are still sweeping. I don't want dust on this kind of Did you people wash your hands? Okay. Bring the table here. Banana. My God. Jesus. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. Kati Musumba. Pastor. Musumba. Pastor. My point is this. Sixteen months ago, God spoke to people in a village that raised a seed. They raised the seed. They, they cast away the furniture. And the furniture was delayed. If they came, I would have already enjoyed them. You know? If they came before. 
would have put them in our usual rooms. See how God commanded us hastily. I want you to refurbish the laundry. When Pastor spoke, it, talking about our ordinary office, gold room, the gold room. room. I told them, the, what you're talking about? They already have a specific room. They have a place where they're going to be. See how they brought them when the lounge is being refurbished. Only God would have done that. that. But the timing, the, 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 the emphasis is the timing. So that they are right. They pay taxes so they were able to come in as we are finishing you don't just put such furniture anywhere. These are the kinds that cause people to break your house. That couch is very big. If they bring it in your small house, you have to break the door for it to pass. Village people wonder why you're breaking your door. How can you fix it in? Somebody clap your hands for God. Pastor. These things are beautiful. This no. is known. Uh. <laughs> okay. Kale. Kakati. Now. Bundieri, go up camera. Cameraman. That whole tent, brothers and sisters, that whole tent is full of this kind of furniture. They've just brought a sample for you to see. Now listen. When the pastor came and told me, I waited for Pastor Jessica to come. I would come <laughs> and I work with the builders. Then I waited for Pastor Jessica. We looked at ourselves. We could not believe. That God spoke to somebody. 14 months. 16 months. And he was obedient. And God tells you there is no time. Guests are coming. Presidents are coming. Set your house in order. It's a big lesson. So, as we are dealing with the sixth anointing of humanity, Ubuntu. humanity, say Ubuntu. say humanity, say it again, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. humanity. Ubuntu. God is perfecting Ubuntu. When God is perfecting humanity, is awesome. in the seven anointings, anointing there is a sixth anointing as you approach the throne of God. But every anointing has three dimensions. We are going to talk about it in a few minutes. But we see the anointing in just one family. The family of Jacob. The anointing there is, is unimaginable. There is Judah. There is Levi. There is Levi. There is Issachar. Time and season. I told Pastor this to to strike a chord together. We are in Angabo. We are in Rubaga. We are working on our things. We are preparing. The Lord said, Work on the long days. We will find a church of 30 million. One set. But locally, we are not going to be able to get the same thing. These ones are looking at me like this. 
<laughs> expression is a phase is our expression either we are overwhelmed <laughs> either it, this becomes too much <laughs> or we don't know what 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 what, what to expect <laughs> now when I told the people amen they said amen it had to be the Lord because I have not met him for a long time they live in Nangabo they hardly come here. And after all, of all the places, Jesus was born in Bethlehem and he grew up in Nazareth. You would not think such things will come from Nazareth. Nangabo is like Nazareth. For them to have been able to hear they had 16 months ago let me tell you brothers and sisters here if the Lord promised you something it is going to happen and the way it's going to happen you won't even know it up until now we haven't even realized it I can't believe it they just showed me a video I told them please if there is a God who's speaks, there is an anointing. God is going to gather it. That which was upon the children of Israel. And it will be upon your life in Jesus' name. Mama, this is that anointing of Isaac. To know the season and the time. It could not come a week before or a week after. It had to come this week. When you, when you see what's going on in the lounge, right now, one of, that, one of those lounge is being finished right now. When we take a picture with this furniture over tomorrow, you will not think it's in Uganda. Zembagan, I told you, Tambu Deco, I've traveled, Tambu Deco, I'm well traveled, Tambu Deco, I'm well traveled to say, Whoa, I've gone everywhere. Probably Mokama Badamurunji, probably the Lord has been good to me. I've gone to presidential the houses, prime minister, prime ministers, Bakavaka, of kings, palaces. I've been na. almost everywhere. The truth is this. This kind of furniture, even those who come from there, they will know Ugandans are no longer poor folks. This is a kind of chair you sit in, and the bed bug you came with refuses to come out. It says, No way. The bed bag says, no way. I am not permitted to come out on this. Mm. But, but of all places, Nangabo, to come out with such a seat on which king sits, on which presidents are going to sit, first, lady. first ladies, let me tell you, if you've ever had God, these people had God. There's no doubt about it. They didn't buy this furniture from Kampala. You may look around all around Kampala, you won't find them. They didn't buy this furniture from Kampala. They even have the receipts. Even the documents. And even that delay. That is what shocked me. We hadn't prepared we ourselves. We started working seriously on that launch about eight months ago. Trying to change the room. Trying to change this. Trying to change the room. Changing the room. Changing this. Putting it. That is where we started from. That is where we started from. That is where we started from. At some point we paused. We had no more money. We paused. But we said, you know. Guests are going to visit us. We don't even know where they're coming from. And there will be many. Where will you sit them? 
Let's try to work on the Lord first. Yeah. Who do we be prepared for the church? Brothers and sisters from today. Your car is on the way. Your house is coming. Your home is coming. Clap your hands for God. Someone. God already prepared things. We were with these ladies. They came with pastor. We cried until we could not cry anymore. God tells you prepare this and you prepare that. It's the same thing that happened in Karamoja. What happened in Karamoja was about 35 years ago. No, no, 27. 27, 30 years ago. I was preaching in Phoenix, Arizona. Arizona. There was a family family that I used to minister to. It's a family of lawyers. I'm just giving a testimony Mm -hmm. in order to tell you Mm -hmm. the timing of the Lord. Mm -hmm. The timing of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I prayed for their daughter. Mm -hmm. They have two sons. Mm -hmm. You may be seated. Mm -hmm. When you get excited, you will stand by yourself. Once you get excited, you either sit or fall down. So what happened was, the family of the Scots. So, they bring their daughter. She had a spot on her skin. That would have just damaged all her body. I prayed for her. And they go under the power, the mother, and that was it. The thing disappeared. I didn't see these people in 28 years. So, Robert, my son, was preaching online. This wonderful lady called uh, Lori. Lori. She saw him preaching. Are you you Robert Kayanja? Kayanja? A son of Robert Kayanja. Are you related to any Kayanja you know? He used to come to our area. My my son told me somebody is on my line. He's saying this. Do you know him? So I said, the name sounds familiar. So ask him this and this and that. She said, said yes. She said, we live in this particular part of the United States. Me and my husband have two children who like to connect with you. So when I went with the first lady of Kenya to see Pastor Benny, from, I was in Israel. We flew, met in, 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 in America. I text her, actually, the, our office in the U.S. has already communicated with her. So she flies with her husband. Imagine this. We have grown sorghum in Karamoja. The birds, are five million of them are eating the crop. In, in two weeks, we had lost 500 acres eaten by these birds from all over the world. There was no way we were, we were going to harvest. You know, those are the birds that feed us. They came in great numbers. And they were eating the crop. These are biblical proportions. I've never seen so many birds. They could, you hit them, they go underground. So we did everything we could. Nothing was working. We brought in the laser. We brought in everything. We used every technology that you could think of until we got the upper hand and the birds left. But now, the rain were coming. We needed to harvest. There was no way we were going to use humans to harvest 2,000 acres. No way. You can't. We needed a combined harvest. See the timing of the Lord. I met 
them in in US. And say, yeah, we've located this equipment. We need to ship them quickly to the Karamoja. But we don't have money. Brother and sister, any of those machines is 200,000. 200,000 US. That is about 720 million. We don't have one. We have three. The anointing of knowing the time and season. Time and season. How do you connect that? God might have prepared someone 35 years ago. Brethren here, stop looking at the elderly person next to you. Hello. Jemuli. Lekera o kutunuli la engudo zemo chaloche wa. Looking at the bad roads in your village. Kuvanga na gendo dukora. Even the person who's going to walk on. Bamuga mademia ke. Was already told five years ago. Era na tero kuyingi rawo. They're about to come. And they will walk on the roads in Jesus' name. Kuvira Yesu Kristo mungaleza. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. So today, we've entered into the phase of the anointing of Issachar, knowing the times and seasons. And the Bible says, and thus they ruled Israel for 400 years. 400 years. The year they spent in bondage, this tribe of Issachar, you know, we all know Rachel and Leah, the two sisters. Issachar is the son of a maid. Issachar. When you have the anointing of knowing the time and season, it doesn't matter who your mother is. No, you're not hearing what I'm Tori saying. In other words, it Mugere. doesn't matter. Now, si our, Uganda is our motherland. Uganda That's what I'm talking about. Tegeza. I'm not talking about your stepmother so or whatever. That one who breaks the covenant has a problem. E, 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 but Uganda, it doesn't matter whether you are from Uganda, Uganda, Uganda or from Europe. Uganda, 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 Once the anointing Uganda, of knowing time Uganda, and season Uganda, falls on your Uganda, life, Uganda, you will Uganda, step up. Ovayo. You'll step up into leadership. You watch what's going to happen. You watch going to happen in Nangabo. You watch what's going to happen in Chadondo. In Uganda. You have unleashed the anointing of Issachar upon us. Somebody shout hallelujah. Sorry, sorry. You were testifying at home. I'm speechless. All I can present is these, these big couches. There are two pieces. Or three. Two. This one and the other one? Okay. There 15 pieces. These are two. We will see after we unwrap. They are more than an ordinary set. They are more than an ordinary set. If you put them in the lounge like I saw it, it will be a wonder. They will fit there. If you go and buy, they only give you a three-seater and a two-seater. But these are two three-seaters. We ordered for them as though we were mad. When I came here, I was out of mind. I said, yes, how could it have happened like this? But the Lord knows better. Pastor, I am speechless. If you look at them, they can't add up. This chairs, you, they cannot fit in a small ordinary room. That's what you're talking about, Pastor. Where is the camera? 
we bless God. Brothers and sisters, you are far off, but we on the pulpit, I came dressed in white, but I fear these chairs. <laughs> This one, that one. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Kali. Okay. Kali. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. You who never saw us in the Chibao, in the dusty church. You can't understand the joy we have. They used to call us a makeshift church people. People in dusty churches. But to wake up in the morning, come and visit Miracle Center Cathedral, and we'll tell you, you can have a seat there. Your bed bugs won't come out. <laughs> Somebody clap your hands for God. But what makes it very powerful, Musumba, is that 16 months ago, God spoke to you. And these wonderful people listen to what you said. And they acted. Not in Kampala. In Kampala, we have that we talk to people. That we talk to people in Kampala. We talk to God. But of all places, Nangabo. Can anything good come out of Nangabo? Nangabo was known for the Masabo. It wa, they were known for shrines. Forget about Mama Finn, the chief witch. The witch was called Makolo. People come from all over the world. He was a member of my father's church. Every Sunday he would come for prayers. He even bought a pew in the church. I went to school with his children. They were good at mathematics. Probably Makolo, these magazine. things of his give his children smartness. He had Mokasa. The names were demonically inspired. But they were good at math. When it comes to math, you can beat them. Shockingly, Musoke got saved. <laughs> that was the last time. I don't know whether he's still alive. Or what. Witchcraft was rampant. One time, Mr. Makolo pledged money in the church. They are going to bring a new reverend called Bolega. The level of uh, he pledged some money. That said, when such a man played his book, you go and pick the money. So we went with his children. When we arrived in the compound, he got his Bible and him book, handed them to Musoke, told them to take them there. He first went to present himself before the ancestors. He had a huge shrine in the compound. He came and said, ancestors, we have come back in peace. In one peace. As though they sent him to church. He went, picked the money, gave it so that the house of the reverend would be built. But to God be the glory. I want to thank you in this Thank you lesson. for listening to God. They came early. I don't know if they gave them something to drink. You know, in Kampala, we, don't, we are not good at hosting guests. Or we are not good at hosting guests. 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 We are not Members of this church, but member, can you say no? to me, you opened up a chapter. You opened up a chapter. Let me tell you, 
the magnitude of this testimony is not a Kampala church. It is a village church. First of all, that you were able to Number two, to raise that amount of money. 27,000 US dollars. Minus taxes and taxes. And they flew. People from the village. And they went to Turkey. And they ordered the furniture. People from the village. And they brought it. Paid the taxes. And it came in. People from the village. And they brought this furniture. The way they look. And they didn't even steal one. They brought all of them. People from the village. Something is happening in Uganda. Something is going on in Uganda. Something is happening here. Somebody clap your hands for God. Cameraman. Show me these people raising their hands and worshiping God. Thousands and thousands of people are here. But you're only capturing the We know you're not yet married, brother. You're looking for a sister, for a wife. Today, in this moment, show the world what God is doing here. Where is the drone man? Something is happening in Uganda. Poverty is living in Uganda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a prophetic message. Clap your hands for God, somebody. Somebody give God a powerful hand clap. Somebody clap better than that. Woo! Yeah. Glory! Hallelujah! Echitibwa! Hallelujah! Echitibwa! Echitibwa! Yes. Glory to Jesus! Oh Lord, everlasting Father, I thank you. Good Lord, I thank you. Bring a blessing. Bring riches. Bring the power. Whoever saw the seed on this miracle, may your glory be revealed. May people see who you are. Real. E kanisa juu mukse mirundi rukumi. Let ovugag mirundi rukumi. Bring riches a thousand fold. Let echti watch mirundi rukumi. Bring forth your glory a thousand fold. Yonge rama fute mirundi rukumi. Increase the anointing a thousand fold. Baweta kava gaziwe. Give them land expansion. Be yonge reba gagawa. Let them increase and be rich. Bongero vuvuna nziwa. Give them more responsibility. Mokama sente mitwale vidi. Mukakage jad dollar. Twenty-seven thousand U.S. dollars. Zibadi zemo two point six million dollars. Bring it back to them as two point seven million dollars. Mumia zikumi na mukaga. In sixteen months. E chaba tuali de bank of color. What took them time to do? Mukama chibadi zemirundi rukumi. Bring it back to them a thousand. Kuvira katonde gale zamani na we mukama kuwa muksa. May God bless you too. Yeah. Wani ke mikono. Raise your hands, everybody. E chiti wa chideri Yesu. Kubanga ye mulungi atuade ebirungi bingi twebaze mukama orechi gambo chi chitibwa chiteri yesu kubanga ye mulungi atuade twebaze mukama Echitiwa, chiteri Yesu, kubanga. Bana, people, bameka eda nga wagenda komu baz. How many of you, before you got saved, you went to baz? Wazinako, you went to discotheques and danced around. Oba Maganda, Maganda dance. Oba Chitaguro, Oba Chitaguro. Whatever it is. Mazina gonage wazina. Oliwa. Njagalangati imbolu imbalu. As we sing this song. Nzesage na muba. Me I never went to a bar. Agange gema nyi nyi gema 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 nyi
How can a reverend son dance all over the place? But you, you, I know you, you dance. As we sing. Dance like never before. Mm. Amen. Amen. Like never before. Chideri Yesu Kubanga Ye Murunji Atu Wade Ebirunji Vinji Ye Basibwe Mukama Atajuru Kuka Chitiwa Chideri Yesu Kubanga God bless you, Pastor. Please, people, where are the, <laughs> the covers of this kind of chair? Where are the covers? Put them back as they were. Did you wash your hands? No. Okay. COVID and a lesson out of it. COVID you are washing their hands. Who had helped us? My people came from the village. 
people. You haven't given them nothing. So Rush, bring KFC. These are people from the village. You know? So. Yeah. Uh, uh, camera. Camera camera. Camera man. Man. You come. Young woman. Hurry up here. Um, you know, to have time to testify. Um, people think things we are lying. Ah. Look at that. Uh. DXB means Dubai. DXB is out of Dubai. Still is a boat. Ah. Uh -uh. <laughs> <You're not. laughs> Uganda, yeah, headed for Uganda. Yeah, yeah. 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 Even the phone contacts them. Don't think they bought them from right here. That is what shocked me and surprised me about ah, that. You know. This is Emirates it. Sky Cargo. Emirates Sky Cargo. They did come yonye. on water. They were by air. Bino, 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 bino. <laughs> yeah. bono, 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 that is the real testimony. Has come to pass. <laughs> See what the Lord has done. Yamba Zabulonji Gundi. See what the Lord has done. See the Lord has done. What he will. Kakati Zako or Spreburun Josebo Ali carry take back. Watching a shooty from when to go by natural chew and but the Holy Spirit is about to take over this power. Somebody may land on the furniture. See what the Lord has done. Lift your hands. Thank you. You may be seated. See what the Lord has done. What we wait. Has come. Come on, sing, sing. See what the Lord has done. Lift your hands and say, See what the Lord has done. See what the Come, see, lift your hands and tell the Lord, see. Saints, 
the scripture said and God made man in his image in his likeness he created them male and female we have never explored man thus we don't really understand what God made but I just want to let you know that man arrived on the sixth day and he was able to name everything that was done six days prior, five days prior. Now the Bible said one day unto the Lord is, six, is a thousand years. So man arrived and he was able to go back in history 5,000 years and name everything that was. Now you may think we are making it up but let me push you closer. Joseph Yusuf is in Egypt. He wasn't in the bedroom of Pharaoh. Remember, Jukira, and this is very powerful, that God himself, the heart of a king is in his hand. It doesn't matter whether an African king or a European king, a saint king or a sinner king. His heart is in the hand of God. Joseph arrives in the palace. He wasn't a servant of Pharaoh. Because if he was a servant, he would have had him mumble jumbling. He would have had him. I had a dream, but Joseph was in prison. He was tied. He couldn't hear anything that was in the palace. But when when he arrived, I'm talking about a man whose destiny is in God. A man who's driven by the Spirit of God. A man who had a voice of God. Because the Bible said, when Joseph was in the house of Pharaoh, I mean the house of Potiphar, everybody said, God is with him. Now, in Africa, Africa, we have not yet seen people Bantu. whom they said God is with that man. We've had so many. They say he's a man of God. He's a man of God. But we have never seen one whom they said God is with that man. For the first time in Israel, when Jesus was born, when heaven declared, it says, you will call him Emmanuel, God with us. Many of us are with God. We are God's people. We come to God's place. But is God with you? What happened when God is with you? When God is with you, they throw you in the lion's den. And the lions, you tame them. You go closer to the gates of hell. And the hell worships you. We have entered into that zone. God is going to be with you everywhere you go. Jesus told the disciples, watch this, while he was with them, they were under his power. They enjoyed his provision. They could actually attempt to do what he does. But child of God, when he left, he said, I'll be with you always. That's another level. That is another level. For you to be with God, for you to come to God, is different when God comes to you. Do you know why Adam and Eve were saved? After God has said, in the day you eat thereof, you surely die. Why didn't they die? Why didn't they die that day? Because when God comes, he comes with his entourage. 
And part of his entrance is grace, his mercy. Oh, you're not here. You want to say it. So though death has surrounded you, but when he comes, grace will meet you. Mercy will back you up. Come on, somebody. Something is about to happen to you today. You are about to live here with the grace of God. With the mercies of God and the goodness of the Lord. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Oh, come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. Say, God is with me. God is with me. God is with me. Many of us are with God in certain areas of our lives. We are with God. But when God is with you, when God is working with you, when God is moving with you, something good is about to happen to you. So when God created Adam, a man, he made him male and female. And then he gave them dominion over three areas. The air, the land, and that sea. He said, dominate. Be the determining factor. Be the driving force. Child of God, you don't understand this. But anointing number three is about to hit you. All the three are going to operate in your life. Come on. All the three areas, land, sea, and air, you are about to dominate. You are about to dominate the sky. If you have not yet bought a plane, it's not private. You will turn planes into bicycle rides. I said, every week, every week you will be flying back and forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to give you money. You start a, a company, you plans. Who am I talking to? How many of you have never flown a plane? Raise up your hand. You must jump and dance better today. I, I can't see those of you who have never flown on a plane. Okay, if you've never flown on a plane stand, I want to see all laws on the screen. Number one, if you've never flown on a plane, shout, clap your hands. Because this year that started 2023, 2024, you get fed up of flying. You get fed up of flying. Sit down. How many of you have no life you can build? You're renting. You jump better than anybody. Even on the land. If you will dominate. You will dominate. If you will dominate. You're going to start a farm. You're going to start a farm. You're going to do it. You're going to build. You have your hands for Jesus. Tell your neighbor, I'm about to invite you for my housewarming. Bible people told us they raised money. They went to Turkey. They went to a factory. And said, make those ones. brothers and sisters. One size fits all. You're about to stop that stereo. You're going to custom I want a custom Because this is what fits me. Okay, 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 okay. Clap your hands for God. Brothers and sisters, even on the sea, 
I look at Uganda. We cry that there is a drought. Yet we have Lake Victoria. When they were building the drainage. Water has never stopped flowing. It's flowing, gushing out. Ever since we came 20 years ago. The water is always flowing. It's always flowing. It's flowing all over the place. River Nile has never stopped. It's never stopped. We've been donating our water to the earth as though we don't need the water. The Lord is going to give somebody wisdom. You get water from the ground, from the air, you get water from the sea, you make something important out of it. Then you'll grow a mango. You didn't hear me. You're going to do fish farming. You're going to become rich. You're going to have yachts on the water. Waters. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, if you go on a boat, you sail following river Nile. You arrive in Arua before those who used road arrive. Because the river does not turn corners. It goes straight. When it turns a little, a little, to the side of the valley, or to pass by a rock, if you use your cargo on the boat, you arrive quickly and at cheap God is going to anoint some people here. You're going to build ships all the way from here to Tanzania. Traveling to Kisumu. In Jesus' mighty name. Clap your hands for Jesus. When God created man, for you to understand the wisdom God used to make man, you look at those whom God has helped. They tell us if you have 14%, you're smart, you're IQ. You can even go to the moon. If those who have 14% go to the moon, what percentage am I using? To do what? To build ships. What am I using? To make round pancakes. If those who go to the moon use only 14%, what about me? Who makes chapati and beans? What percentage do I use of my brain? You're going to leave this place when you're a genius. Bible says you don't have the mind of man. You have the mind of the Son of God. You have the mind that was in Christ Jesus. Seal you today in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands for God. May that mind be in you. As we spoke about the anointing, family, only one family, the man Jacob, so even in the New Testament, they don't call him Israel. They take you back and call him Israel. Israel, you may think a nation. When they talk about Africa, you think about the continent. But you as an individual, you are going to leave a mark on this ground that cannot easily be erased. Your children and your grandchildren are going to be mighty upon the earth. Where does the difference come from? The difference comes from the Holy Ghost. Bible says, Saul was in Israel. So by default, God was with him. Oh, he was with God. He was with God. But God was not yet with him. That's why the family often lose. They lost donkeys. They would look for the donkeys for days. They couldn't locate them. But when they met, a person who has God, Samuel who has the Lord, he even told him, before he arrived home, told him, don't bother. The donkeys have already been found. How do I know what's coming? People like Samuel, people like Elijah, people like Moses, they show us a person, a man who God is with. 
Because they even enter your bedroom Even in your mind And they know what you dreamt about you had never seen it before. But today, that anointing is going to start with you. People are about to change your name. They will say, There comes the prophet. The Noah is there. Samuel was called the seer. He, was called, he could see things. Means, means others were blind. No, he was able to see what others could not see. Some people here are going to become seers. He was able to see all through Israel. Out of millions. He spotted Saul. When Saul came to meet him, man told him, you're Saul. You are the least in the tribe of God. But God has appointed you to rule over the Today you're going to spend the night with me. I already prepared dinner for you. Brothers and sisters. There are things we've been eating. And even if they pray for you, things don't change. Saul. He even had the bodyguard. But he had never become a leader. Some of you have studied political science. But even in your home, they can't appoint you to slash the compound. They push you to locate the lost. Bible says, he ate with the prophet. He spent a night in the house of the prophet. The man was not changing. Tell your neighbor. You've done it all. They have done a lot to you. They have prayed for you. They have driven demons out of you. They have done everything. They have even interpreted you. You're not changing a bit. You've been cancelled. They are pastors. Tell your neighbor. They have even bought you a big Bible. But things are not changing. They have given you teachers to coach you. They even give you transport to school. They even drive you to school. But when the exams come, you only see stars. You've even been They have worked on their hair. And the rest has been burnt. But no man can, you know, say a word to you, sister. Brother, you've done all no that you can. You even borrowed no it. Or you even borrowed it. But no, you, can you even learned English with an accent. Every sister who sees you, say, brother, what's up? But today, 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 you've joined the people whom God is with. The prophet also goes, join yourself with the people who have God. When the Holy Ghost falls on you, you will turn into another man. Today, tonight, you're going to turn into another man. I was hearing the Holy Ghost say, you told me you know the difference between Saul and He turned into another man. Or a different man. He never became a new man. Saul so, never became a new man. He just became 
another man. When the spirit left him, he became another, another man. He came from looking for the lost. He became a leader. When the spirit left him, he turned into a murderer. But, but you and I, we are new men. We are not reconditioned. When the Holy Ghost fell on David, David, David became another man. The young man could get a jitter. jitter. He would play his jitter. Demons would leave people. He picked stones. Everybody picked stones. Everybody has ever picked a stones. Bomb. And a stone turned a into a bomb. A bomb turned into a bullet. David. David. Once God is with you, whatever you touch will be blessed. Until we have that dominion in these three areas, land, air, and sea, we are not perfect. That's why we need this anointing. So that we may enter into number seven. The anointing of perfection. Because seven is the number of perfection. He said, I will anoint you with an anointing of perfection. And he gives gifts to perfect the saints. He gives gifts. So anointing number seven is going to be an anointing of perfection. Then you're going to create wealth that is not made out of sweat. Kubanga job was a perfect man. Abraham became a perfect man. Joseph Yusuf and Mary were perfect. What do you mean? Because they reached the anointing number seven. You can't go to number seven via before tonight. The anointing that's going to fall on you dominance is the anointing that gives you dominance in these three areas. Kuluare. From today, people will be amazed at how you become rich. Isn't it amazing that today the people God spoke to 16 months ago they put things on air, they blooded, they hustled, they raised money so that they may bring the furniture so that we may put in one dollar. A person who will come this is what God does. The Lord is going to make you rich. You didn't hear what I said. The Lord is going to make you rich. The things he's going to give to you are going to distinguish you from other people. That's why he said, Houses you've not built, vineyards you have not planted. I have prepared them for you. Brothers and sisters, somebody is building a house in Kampala. But as God lives, that house will belong to you. Because your salary can build it. Your father's inheritance can build it. Your father left you. So he couldn't even leave you shoes for introduction. But the Holy Ghost is going to bring things and the people around you will be surprised. Then he will tell them that is how I love that person of mine. Some of us here how many of you are loved by God? Look at the person raised Look at the rest. Everybody saying the Lord loves me. How do you know that man 
loves oh, nothing more than other women. The things he gives si to the woman, not empty words. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. When our God speaks, that is what happens. He's already spoke. He said you're his child. He's already spoke. He already spoke. When he speaks, that is my child. What does he do? He sends the Holy Spirit. The way God loves you. He sends you the Holy Spirit. You're going to live with the anointing of Jesus. The same Spirit. Working in three dimensions. You dominate on the land. Dominate at sea. And you dominate in the air. Clap your hands for God. God is about to give some people private jets here. I feel it in the spirit. You will bring it to Entebbe, land it there. As you see taxis in the time is coming. It has started now. You people. You are going to park your planes in Entebbe Airport. Yes, Lord. Do you know the blessing of God? Make us rich. Make us rich. And he adds no song. What does that mean? What God is going to add to you will enlarge your territory. If God gives a square mile, where are you residing? Others say, I just want to call I want to reside in Muyenga. Here and there. It's because you have no transportation means. That's why you fight for small people. A hundred by a hundred. You're going to see people. We are here as believers. We came from Biwempe. Somebody was sleeping. In 50 miles. And then you fly to Kampala. What brings you in Kampala? In the and you struggle. Because you have a job. God is going to deliver it from a job. Work. And he will give you work. Yes, Lord. You move when traffic is not there. You come from 20 miles. You Sleep on 50 Hallelujah. acres. Hallelujah. You do your work on phone. And on your screen. And on FaceTime. That's where you do your work. Whenever you feel like coming to Kampala. You come to advise them on how you want to preach. You leave at midday. And you have to speak at midday. And you come with your helicopter. And it, it lands on your building in Kampala. No and you go down. No yogeranabo. Speak to them. Two hours. Sawabiri. No you go back up. Baba Valimu traffic Sawa Kuminemu. Traffic 5 p.m. And you fly back. We haven't seen Abantu Abatu. We haven't seen them. One man, Elon Musk, Elon Musk, offered United Nations and World Food Program. He said, I'll give you six billion dollars if you can show me how you can fight hunger on earth. They, fa they failed. Me, I'm here. Mr. Elon Musk. I am here. I will show you by the Spirit of God. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. You will see the world. You will see the world. You will see the world. How problems are solved. You're going to show them how to build a house. You're going to show them how to grow food. How to manufacture things. You're going to show them. Tell the person next to you. Thank you, Lord. Because you have anointed me to show my generation how to do things. 
You cannot clap like that for God. Let me conclude with this picture. After farming, we found ourselves that at every level we went, there was a challenge ahead of us. I I Pastor Chris is just bones now. I'm not going to fail. I'm not going to fail God. I'm not going to fail. Pastor Chris Chris no longer has flesh on the bones. Bring the man to to Kampala. He's going to die from there. Nine months he's been fasting. What was she popular? There is a document that he brought to me in the office that shows how our production was in the last season. season Where we got good harvest, where birds consumed the harvest. The birds consumed 500 acres of land. But I know Pastor Chris. He used to get the mic on this drive car. He was a poster boy pinning posters. But the level is operating on now. The level is operating on now. Is better than the agronomists. The ability Jalina to gather data. Bring me that document. Brothers and sisters. It is easy for you to travel abroad. And they praise you. Amongst the people that know you. It is not easy to sing praises for you. He had come down because his wedding anniversary was last week. And immediately he went back. Give me my document. The people you see me arguing with, the anointing is still growing. Gehazi. There is a man in the Bible called Gehazi. Gehazi. Gehazi was a man who moved by the wind. When the man of God said, Take to my God. stuff and run and go to that woman's house, Gehazi, Gehazi overtook the woman who was on horses and yet he was on feet. Some people went before you to start a business to build a house. But I'm here to tell you in three months you are going to overtake them. You are going to overtake them. You are going to overtake them. There is an anointing which comes on man and he begins to move superman. Where is my document? People of God. There are things God is going to use you to do. But those things won't be in your camp. Then within two weeks. That thing will come. What hinders us in Africa? We are very slow. To sober nyo. Very slow. To sober nyo. The world is very fast. But, but we who are anointed, we are going to be faster than the fastest. Guess what happened? So we finished all this. We picked up speed to harvest the food. But now we are stuck. We, we, we have no we, we have no storage. No storage. So 
I saw I saw something on the ground, you see? They were putting the, the food on the ground. Of course, it had the tappling, but it was on the ground. So I told them, get these people gumboots. Because they're stepping into food. They shouldn't put their jigger footed into it. Okay. So, but it was on the ground. And if it rains, the water will overrun it. So here you are, you've worked so hard. You've paid a lot of money. But now you are harvesting. And post-harvesting is about to kill you. So I looked, I looked around, I said, no. Lift the food up. Make tables. Make tables. Now listen to this. This is my first time to do this. But you ask yourself, where do you get the idea? The Holy Spirit quickens your brain. We are solution provider. We are not problem makers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are not problem makers. Creating problem for Europe because we are going as refugees. That day is over. Those people are coming here to see what God is doing. You've been here while we are talking. You saw. Did you invite? Did you bring me? Did you bring me? Did you bring me? Did you bring all eyes of the world are at Miracle Center. People are hearing. These are, these are pressed people. Did you tell them to take peace? If you are looking bad, that is the post they will put on the Ugandans are dying of cold. We who came knowing, we came to drink the anointing. We are going to look good in the pictures. Somebody clap for God. Amazing. These cameras are speed is up. Their speed is slow. What were they capturing? They would have left their chairs. Capture these. Capture that is news that girlfriend capturing a girlfriend who has not accepted the proposal. Slow minds. Slow minds. Ask them. Put back a video when you're capturing the guests. So that tomorrow we were testimony. When you that we were in revival. It attracted white journalists to picture. They don't have a video. They saw a white person and the camera remained where it was. <laughs> mama wange, My mama would look at me and say, you have Chilolo, my son. <laughs> you have Chilolo, bus. <laughs> People who used to come from Chiloro, they would look in a way that they would just come. They never come to Kampala. Whoever came out of the bus called Chiloro, they would just gaze and. Okay, let's hurry up. Okay. I'm coming. But the Lord is going to quicken your mind. You will see things before trouble comes. The Lord told me, tell them to make tables. There is no pine trees in Karamoja. They already cut all the trees. We had to load the trees from the prayer of the timber. We took the timber and the professional carpenters. They built 12 of those tables. But it's actually twice big, this platform. Actually, three times. Or four. And they had to build them. So that when the rain will go down. And then buy taplings of plastic. Plastics. Plastics. 
to cover that. Because it was the rain season. One night, the rain came. So heavy. But we had covered. And the whole top was water. Water. Chameleon movement. Let me proceed later. The water filled the top. But the food was safe. We are dealing with water, rain water. Switch a man. <laughs> You're joking with the anointing. The anointing can instruct you to press the right button. Bible they shall be led by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be led. All of you follow. follow. No. Uh -huh. Finally, is there. Night at midnight. We are in Karamoja. Midnight. How can people get confidence? In a place where people run. If there is no security. If there is no peace in that area. Project Karamoja has answered about Karamoja You who thinks Karamoja is a desert. You think there's no peace in now Uganda. You too. Well, you wasn't Uganda. You think Uganda won't produce things. You will you, be last. Water filled. If the food was on the ground. If the food was on the ground. You see. All that is rain water. All, all that is water. By the time they opened. The food was dry. The enemy won't be able to beat you. You will not lead the devil a thousand times when he's at the back. Every move the enemy wants to make, you would have already seen it before. The, the seer. But they have overseers. But they are seeing nothing. They are supposed to be over the seer. But they ain't seeing nothing. May the Lord give you the anointing to see. Clap your hands for God. Brothers and sisters. This was the, the president. Pastor Kayanja went and built in a valley. Because the hills were filled. Brothers and sisters. This was the seeing of the Lord. Now. He's close. He's under construction. That's where they play football. The president is always there. Where would we be having church? Church is under. Where would we go? If you don't have the anointing to see Father, you will hold on to a plot. And you spend a billion. On Yet you can go and take a billion a hundred miles and build a city. You'll be the mayor. You vote yourself. And you're the one who appoints yourself. If you got it, clap for God. I'm praying to God. Today the anointing of the house of Jacob to see, anointing to understand, the anointing to know, the anointing of wisdom, the man's house, he had 12 boys. 
12 boys. Everyone was anointed. When Judah shows up, people from Judah, the Jesus lineage, the Davids, you didn't hear what I said, the Solomons. Isaac shows up. He becomes a leader. Levi. Levi. He holds the heaven and the earth. Your household and all your children. May they have their area. dominating they dominate everybody else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This dominance is what? It's, it's in AI. It's in high tech. Some pilots. Imagine you have six children. Mukagabo. Only six children. Each and every one of them has their own speciality. One is in finance. The other is good in uh, the other is such a good contractor. But all of them are billionaires. The Bible says, Isaac. 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 Two of his children. It took them 40 years. Took them 40 years. Get into their places. Jacob rested with God. Esau met God. And he broke the yoke. He was filled with the spirit. The Bible says. Then they buried their father. His children were rich. Jacob was very rich. Even Esau was very rich. Esau had 400 horses, white horses, on which he used to ride. They went to bury their father. In the name of our Lord. Before your family members die. May the Lord give you the anointing for dominance. May he make you a perfect man. Everybody raise up your hands. Say Jesus. Today. I, I want the anointing. The third dimension anointing. I don't know where things are made. But you've given me mine. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Clap your hands for Jesus. The spirit of the Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. Raise your hand. Say thank you father. In Jesus name. Now I know we all came with our seats. We are going to give in three minutes. In three minutes. I know sometimes it's very hard. But the, ba the basket is near you. So you can dance. Because if all of us come here. We are too many to take another morning. And yet I want to pray with you. So you put your seed in there. Those who have got their pledges, one million, one hundred thousand, those of you who have got your one thousand dollars, like the sister from Canada, in the name of Jesus, you'll come here in front. Come on, lead us in a song. He does great and mighty things. He is an everlasting Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to sing and dance and pray. And then after that, they will bring all the baskets here. And they will dedicate our seed. You are going to get the third anointing. And when I, I will be moving in the aisles, so everybody will stay in your seats. Please don't get out. Because it's easy for me to go through that. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amina, amina. Come on, let's sing. Let's praise. Let's give. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are a good God. You are doing wonderful things. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Those who have got your pledges, your one million, your thousand dollars, please come over here. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Every yes, we are going to give it to God. Every yes, we are going to give it to God. Every yes, we are going to give it to God. Every yes, we are going to give it to God. Cora, cora, yeah. Be it, so I cora, ni vitangas, abusima. 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 Be it,
Kora. In the name of Jesus, this is not just an offering. This is a seed. I'm getting the harvest of dominance in three areas of my life. On the land, in the air, and at sea. I believe Give me perfection, Lord. I'm ready for your anointing. I'm ready for your glory. I'm ready for your power. I'm ready right now, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you mightily. And does many things for you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. I am that I am, the great provider. I searched around. There's no one else like you. Lion of Judah, you're the money, money. One more time, say. Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. The great provider has searched and searched around. Hey, Lion of Judah, you're the money. I am, I am. God has given me victory. Say, say, say. God has given me victory. God has given me victory.
Give God the praise. Come on, wave your hands. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, King of Kings. Lord of Lords. Go all the way. Go all the way. Wave your hands to the Lord. Shout hallelujah seven times. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now listen. What it is that? Because the anointing is about to fall. There are people. Let me do this first. You've never given your life to Jesus. You want to give your love to Jesus. Put up your hand. You've been backslidden. You don't know the Lord. But today you are coming back to the Lord. Stand up on your feet. Those of you put up your hand, stand up quickly. Stand up quickly. Wherever you are. And come here quickly, please. You want to leave your life right with God. I say, hurry up. Come running. Come to the Lord. It's about your life. It's about your life. Come to the Lord. Come to Jesus. Come to the Lord. Come to the Lord. Come to the Lord. Come to Jesus. Wherever you are, come to the Lord. Run here quickly, please. Run to the Lord. Run to the Lord. In Jesus' name. If you're already saved, give God a powerful hand clap. Stick where God is doing things. Don't put me on TV. Glory to God. Glory to God. In Jesus' mighty name. 
Put your hands on your heart. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. Dear Lord Jesus, save my heart. Save my soul. I'm sorry for my sins. I'm ready for your glory. I'm ready for your anointing. You are my God. You are my Savior. You are my Redeemer. Jesus, Jesus, Touch me. Feel me. Deliver me from all these powers of darkness. Now I'm becoming a new man. I'm turning into a new person. No more demons. No more witchcraft. No more satanic powers. Jesus, Jesus, you are my Savior. You are my Lord. You are my Redeemer. Write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. amen. Today, I am born again. Come on, rejoice and clap your hands to Jesus. Now, I wanted to follow that lady over there. We're going to go with her in Jesus' name. And it's going to take you a short time in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. What a mighty harvest in Jesus' name. Let me draw your attention to this. The Lord has just reminded me of this. So as we were going with Karamoja, little did we know that the Lord was using us to acquire equipment. To me, that's what is, 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 is getting in my mind. That he was creating a new platform for us in order to affect people's lives. So we harvest. We harvest. The crop is safe. We have no storage. Now, we were winnowing as you've seen with the hand. We took in some equipment there. But it was too slow. Very, very slow. So, our food would have attained aflatoxin. Which is, means you just have to throw it off, give it to feeds. So we had, in a short period of time, acquired the equipment from Brazil. And, and, and we needed it. We needed it. And uh, the machine came. You can see as they are cleaning the food. Making sure everything that's not supposed to be there is not there. And uh, processes that grain to the level whereby it can be able. And then they take it and mill it and bag it. But I just want you to see this. This is all Karamoja project. These young men are having work. In Karamoja, people are working. One project. project. And it began by feeding the hungry. Now, we have milled the food and we've taken it. And today, Lero. actually yesterday, Eguro. Those who were really hungry in Karamoja, they started cooking. They started cooking. Food is being distributed as we speak. In homes. Thank God for Sarafina. That girl is something else. These are the people who didn't have food. You can see how malnourished they are. Nothing. Now they are happy. Mama didn't have to feed the kids. So people of God. That is Sogam. Grown in Karamoja. A time is coming. Uganda will eat the wheat will grow in Uganda. Clap your hands for God. So the food is being distributed. I, I, was, I, I saw the video when she was cooking it. In fact, she said, Sogam is our step of food. Like you people eat banana. This is what we eat. And the karamojong are so happy. So we have taken it into, into food form. Not just grain form. Of course we bring the trailer. 
trailer. But this is what I've learned. You see this, this trailer? This, Ola, that means this truck? Ola, we bought this truck. The road said buy a truck. Buy it. We didn't know we were going to be using it today. Here is your truck. It has all e the no. light, the screens, e everything. everything. We, we don't have to put it up anything. The sound system is here. The stage is here. And you see that there. We just roll it in. We drive it in. And we do the work. That joy in Karamoja. Show me that video when the young man was dancing. Now we've turned our tent into storage. Now they were removing it and taking it to distribute the people. What is happening in Karamoja uh, is something else. These are people who are supposed to be dying. Now they are all part of the Robert Kayanja Bucket Initiative. Initiative. Life is back in Karamoja. There is a video when they were loading, off, offloading the truck. And I saw the dance of Karamoja. This young man was so happy dancing. People of God, I want to thank you. Because Uganda is loving Uganda. Uganda. Yeah. We are solving our own problems. Probably this is what the president has been saying all along. It's time for us to solve our problems. We have a problem of hunger. We can solve it. But above all, thank God for you. Because the church is not now solving problems. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Because of you, because of your giving, in Jesus' mighty name. So we are solving this problem. So that's why right now we are we are we, 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 we they're getting ready to meal another 30 tons of food. That is 30,000 kilograms. Ready to be milled. We are fighting hunger. In Jesus' mighty name. And we are using our own seed. You see, you see Joseph Yusuf used the soil, yakosetaka, the souls, and the seed. The souls of Egypt, the seed of, of Africa, and the land of Africa. And he solved the problem of the whole world. May the anointing fall on you that you may solve the problems of the white man. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. So, I always reach out to people. Give opportunity to everybody. We gave, to what day you? but there are others who didn't. You didn't even stand up. You simply rated for you to be called out. So if you didn't plant your seed, with the 5,000, 10,000, we are helping Karamoji. You are seeing these people need help. And uh, they need the food. Packing it, distributing it. We want to thank the district of Napak because they have given us the tippers to take the food in, 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 in the whole district. First, we take a trail. Uh -huh. that, that one, that one, that one. Food has just left Kampala. Back to Karamoja. Because there they don't have electricity. To meal. Neither we don't have a, me a mealer there. So we just going to believe God for that level. We need three things. A milling machine. And ex ex uh, chain loaders. Those kids were dying nine months ago. They were dying. 
Now you can see how big they are. Thank you, Uganda. Thank Uganda you so much. Thank you, Thank you, partners. Thank you so much. In Jesus' mighty name. You know, Jesus. it's good to give accountability. When people give money, they need to know where their money is going. They need to know how the progress they're being done. So that's where we are. Now God is going to give you your own harvest. So I'm uh, there are those you know, the Holy Spirit is concerned about people. We gave, you didn't give. Rush here. With your seed. I need people to prepare the oil. And I need the cultures. Because the temperature is about to change. The anointing is falling. If you're bringing your seed, please hurry up. You have one minute. The Lord challenged you to give, you didn't. God is not just interested in your money. Because whether you give or you don't give, it does not stop God from moving. But obedience is better than sacrifice. Your family needs a blessing. Family yo yeta gomokisa. It needs a blessing. Yeta gomokisa. Your family needs a blessing. Family Even those of you watching by television, the number, number is on the screen. Number kuru timbe kwe. Airtel code. Airtel code. MTN code. Code ya MTN. Flexpay. Flexpay. Mpesa. Mpesa. In Kenya. Abi Kenya. PayPal. PayPal. Allow God to work with you. Lord, we you may beg God to do something. God has already moved. May God meet you at the point of need. If you are moving, please move quickly. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. The Lord Upon the throne, and to you we lift a voice in praise. Lift your hands, saints. Stand up on your feet. Today, Mirida. Glory, Father, I pray for every seed. Glory to the Lamb. I give you praise. Just receive this offering. Glory. Lift your hands, saints. Glory. Glory to the Lamb. to be praised the Lord upon the throne and up to you we lift our voice in praise the Lord
glorious and worthy to be praised. Lift your hands, saints. Say, Lord, I'm here. I need your anointing. Rabo shete kere nebo shete. 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 And uh, to you, there are women here. You are married. But your breast has never fed any baby. Stand over here quickly. Join your hands, join your hands. I give you praise, Jesus. Run. You need a miracle and you come walking. Run. Leave behind your barrenness. Join your hands together say, Lord, we are women created in your image. A command was given. We will be mothers of the living. We will labor in pain. We want to feel the pain of labor, of producing children. We want to breastfeed. We need the anointing. Dear Lord Jesus, we stand here today believing in you. You are our maker. Whatever went wrong, fix it, Lord. Whatever is missing, put it there. Next year, this time, we will stand on this ground and we will dedicate our children which you have given us this day in Jesus' mighty name. Become mothers. 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 Become for you are glorious. You may be seated. Touched. And worthy to be praised. The Lamb upon the throne. Lift your hands, saints. And to you. Whatever is missing in your house. Your breast will feed children. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Something wonderful is happening. Is your hand? So Lord, Gamba Mukama, I need the anointing. Neta Gamma Futa. I need the anointing. Neta Gamma Futa. To dominate. O Kufuga. On the ground. Kutaka. In the air. Mubanga. And at sea. Nekunyandia. I'm ready, Lord. Neta Gese Mukama. I'm ready. Neta Gese. Send the anointing. Sindi Kamafta. Send the anointing. Sindi Kamafta. You know, a man without a garden, he starves to death. A man without a house, he calls to death. And a man without work, he dies a beggar. This anointing is coming to you. Allow the Holy Ghost to use you. Surrender. Surrender to Him. Surrender to Him. Say, Holy Spirit, I surrender to you. 
Just join your hands together. I give you praise, Jesus. And I give glory to your name. Oh Lord, glory to your name. Most high, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I give glory to your name, oh Lord, glory to your name. Talk to the Lord. Do you know how you talk to the Lord? You knock. How do you knock? Jesus is the name. Just say Jesus seven times. With a loud voice. You can do better than that. Jesus! Seven times. Another seven times. Is here. Why you want no? 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 Another seven times. He's the baptizer in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, but he's a mumu yomu tukufu. To come to you. Call on him to come to you. Full of fire. Full of fire. Now open your mouth and shout hallelujah seven times. And after seven times, ask you shall receive. Knock the door shall be open. Ask you shall receive. Ask you shall receive. Ask you shall receive. Ask you shall receive. Rabo Rebo Satarabah. 
is here. Is here. Is here. The Holy One of Israel. Talk to Him. Say, Lord, let me dominate. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. If you don't know how to pray, just pray that. Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. And sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, stay right here with us, feeling us with your love. Give you 
praise. Lift your hands, saints. Lift your hands. Wanike mikono buliomo. Join your hands again. Call his name seven times. It's coming upon you. It's coming upon you. We, your temple, we give you reverence. Ha! So. And be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace. Radasato Rocco Sederina as your praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Lord Jesus, you are holy and glorious, creating us your temple. We are born as living stones, where you're enthroned, and as you People yield yourself to the Lord. Abide with it. And catch and speak up everybody. Who is under the power of God. And bring them over here. And may the hand that's all you wish clothe us with your glory. And cover up your saving grace. Oh, your glory is here, saints. Come on, why do you want to lift those hands up? Oh, your presence. We, your temple.
Come on, pray. Saba, Saba, you shall receive. Knock, shall door shall be open. Oh, Jesus, 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 Join your hands, lift them up. Mukwa tagani mikono mujuwanike. Breathe in. Yingi somuka. Breathe out. Kufuru mje. Let me breathe in your brain. Afuwa muka bongo. Your tongue, your lungs. Kurulimiro maukuego. Your body. Kumobiri kuo. No matter what you're sick of. Sisi songa chachi kuruma. No matter what troubles you. Sisi songa mitawa na chijoli na. He's coming in you. Ah, yingi na munda mukwe. Breathe in. Yingi somuka. Breathe out. Kufuru mje. Breathe in. Yingi somuka. Without Kufuru Mie seven times. Emirundi Musam. On the seventh time. Kumurundi Ogwa Musam. You feel the wind. Ogenda Uli Dempeo. You feel the fire. Ogenda Uli Domurido. It will knock you down. Ogenda Kuko Onogwe Wansi. It will change you. Ogenda Kuchusa. You feel fire burning in your stomach. Ogenda Uli Domurido Ogwa Kamuru Utoro. You will shake. Ogenda Kankana. You feel like dancing. Ogenda Uli Dengasi Namasi. Feel like laughing. Uli Dengasi Ka. Breathe in. Yingi Somuka. Breathe out. Kufuru Mie. Number two. Yingi Somuka. Kufuru mie. Number three. Yingi somuka. Kufuru mie. Number four. Yingi somuka. Kufuru mie. Number five. Yingi somuka. Kufuru mie. Number six. Yingi somuka. Kufuru mie. Number seven. Yingi somuka. Kufuru mie. Touch. Bakwate ko. Touch. Bakwate ko. Touch. Bakwate ko. Touch. Bakwate ko. I give you praise, Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. I yes. Come and feed your lamb. Jiangoli somuli kabo. Come and feed your lamb. Jiangoli somuli kabo. Come and feed your lamb. Jiangoli somuli kabo. Come and feed your lamb. Jesus. Oh Jesus. Come. Oh 
Turn your church into a manager. A new church. The original church. With miracle signs and wonders. Turn your people into billionaires. Turn them into wonders. Touch. 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 Holy Spirit. Touch. 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 People, somebody, somebody, you
Yesu. Those who are holding, you too, you are about to be touched by the power of God. This is not normal. This is unusual. You are turning into a different person. It is time for the church to be the church. For God's children to be God's children. It is time for you to perform. It is time for you to achieve. To show forth His glory. You are created to show forth His glory. You are created to show forth His glory. From today, there will be no spirit of mediocrity. There will be no spirit of lack. There will be wisdom, knowledge and understanding, revelation and power, and divine speed. In Jesus' name, by the power that raised him from the dead. Touch! 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 Pick up that guy. Make him up. Make him up. Make him up. Make him up. Touch. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your life will never be the same. Again. Touch. 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 Stay away. Stay away. Pick that guy up. This is a time. This is a time. This is a time. This is a time. This is the moment. This is the hour. God is turning you to another man. To change the whole family. On the fire of the Holy Ghost. You two guys come here. Touch. Touch Bakwateko. You are about to see billionaires in the body of Christ, innovators in the body of Christ. You are about to see people they used to despise taking the lead. Your life is 
is changing for the better. Your life is changing for the better. Bring that man, Bring that man. Bring that man. Become Joking with your noise. Touch. 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 Is here. What you want know? 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 The quarter call. There's no way you're gonna remain the same. Telling that you're not sick at that church. You move over there. Brother Patrick, come here. What are you gonna perfect the job? I can't cross. I come here. I can't cross the job. There's no way you are becoming billionaires. You are becoming billionaires. Great achievers. Pick him up, pick him up. Great achievers. Great achievers. You guys there, one, two, three, four. Brother Max in the team. Join your hand. Radasha, hey. touch the quarter God is giving you divine speed. You on that line, join your hand. Including you, Alex, join your hand. Join your hand. Join your hand. Join your hand. Your name will be heard as transformers in the name of Jesus. Every contract, everything you have is now yours. Touch. Touch. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I give you praise Jesus. All of you Touch Touch Nobody will stand in your way. You are a very fast running truck. You run like trains. A speed. A speed train. No one will stand in your way. No one will stand before you. No one will stand before you. Touch. 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 Touch! to you, join your hands, join your hands. God is turning you into a powerhouse. A powerhouse. A powerhouse. A household name. Everybody join your hands. Hallelujah, seven times. On the seventh side, you are taking off. You are taking off. One. Hallelujah! Two, Hallelujah! Three! Hallelujah! Four! Hallelujah! Five! Hallelujah! Six! Hallelujah! Seven! Hallelujah! Bakwateko! Touch! Bakwateko! Touch! Bakwateko! Turn into powerhouses! Mufuka nyumbe zamani! You will lead your family! Mugena kule mbele mufamile zamwe! To greatness! Muzi ingize mkubele abamani! I give you praise. May the Lord anoint you today. 
name of Jesus. May you go to another level. Every door I open for you. No, no, no. Leave that man. You didn't tell him to come. Stay out. Stay away. I hear the Lord saying that from today Uganda, Uganda East, Africa, East Africa, Africa Africa and the world will hear about your name. The Lord gives you supernatural ability to do what you have never done before. To go where you have never gone before. To achieve what you have never achieved before. And it's going to take a very short period of time. Short period of time. Bring that guy, that one. In the blue shirt. It's going to take a very short period of time. A very short period of time. Doors are going to open like you have never seen before. 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 Join your hands. Here, join your hands. Everybody in the field, join your hands. Raise them up. Breathe in seven times. On the seventh time, the time, the time, the time you will see his glory. You will see his glory. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Number four. Number five. I see the chain snapping. Padlocks breaking. Number six. Number seven. Touch. Touch. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Walk on a hallelujah. Touch. See his glory come down. Yes, you man, come. See his glory. See his glory. See his glory come down. Fresh and on. I'm a foot, I'm a pia. Praise his name. your head and start laughing. It's a new day.
promotion. You're going to be given a great responsibility. I mean, major. Work. It will require wisdom. Are you listening? And this is not what they taught you in college. This is what he gives you. Supernatural. Let go. And let go. I give you praise, Jesus. Touch. You girls, do you know what you're holding? But what I'm going to say today. Have an idea of what you are holding. It is changing your lives. And your destiny. And Do you know what you are holding? This is what turned Jesus of Nazareth into Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. This is the power of God. And those who have it, live by it. No life that has ever been associated with your knowing remains the same. You will not remain the same. When it walked into my life, nations opened. May nations open for you. Are you May nations open for you. May countries open for you. I give you praise, Jesus. Yes, Tendereza. Touch. But are changing today. Mindsets are transformed today. Destinies are being written right now. In three months, October, November, December, you will be on a different level you have never been before.
In 90 days, Munakuchenda. say yes the Lord. Wa yogera mukama. You will be a different person. Ogenda kuba muntu wanjia urodara. In every area of your life. Mubuli nsonga yobula mubo. In every area of your life. Mubuli nsonga yobula mubo. you are holding we did not ask for that furniture to come it came we did we needed it. It came. Whatever you need to do, it is coming. I say, whatever you need to do, it is coming. It is coming. It is coming. It is coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fire! It is coming. Chidja. It is coming. Chidja. You guys stand over here. It Wait. is coming. Chidja. It is coming. Chidja. Wisdom. Amagezi. Is coming. Gago Gadja. It is coming. Gadja. Finances. Sente. It is coming. Sidja. Marriage. Obufumbo. It is coming. Budja. Hope. Sumi. It is coming. Rija. Healing. Okuona. It is coming. Kudja. Touch. Bakwateko. It is coming. Chidja. It is coming. Chidja. It is coming. Chidja. It is coming. Shidja. 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 Somebody say it says coming. Gamba Shidja. It is coming. 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 Chidja. Anointing. I'm a footer. To preach the gospel. Oh, Jesus Christ. With miracle signs and wonders. Building houses. Being an architect. Being a designer. Being a developer. It is coming. Chidja. Touch. Bakwateko. Somebody shout seven times. It is coming. 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 It is Yes, you could tend it is his glory. Come down. Come here. See his glory. See his glory. When they call you, you run. We have to do kanga misinde. Glory come down. Praise his name. Heaven rest. Join your hand. Mukwata Gademi Kono. Shout it is coming. Wogana Chidja. I can't hear you. Siba Ulida. It has come. Chise. It has come. Chise. Praise his name. Come 
down. Hear the word of the Lord. All of you, even those of you watching by television, who believe in the anointing of the Holy Spirit, in 90 days, communities are going to come to you for solutions. Your income is going to rise. Your protection is going to be enlarged. God has opened doors for you. Even you young people, God has opened a door for you. You will be the head and on the table. God is opening the sky. God is opening the sky. He's opening the ground. He's opening the sea. You will master it. You will master it. Opportunities like you have never seen. Things that you have never lucid before. Is yours in Jesus' name. The keys to drive the future is now in your hand. By the power of the Holy Holy Ghost, you are no longer cursed. You are blessed. You are no longer struggling. You are successful. You are no longer being denied. You have broke through. Every tool you needed for the gospel of Jesus Christ, heaven has released it. And the earth can't deny it. And your enemy will serve you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Lift your hand and shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh! Somebody shout hallelujah. Wokana, hallelujah. Now let's lift up your hand. So Lord. Gamba Mokama. Listen. Tomorrow we have an overnight. But much more. The Lord has just put it on my heart. You see, Saul was given a meal by the prophet. Jesus gave the disciple a meal. When he came to Abraham, he did the same. Something is going to happen to you. You're going to dine with the great. I say you're going to dine with the great. The disciples of Jesus had never been welcomed anywhere. But the day entered Zacchaeus' house, Joseph, Yusuf, when he was received by Pharaoh, he was given clothes to wear. I mean, life has begun right now to change for you for the better. So, you watch. Today is already Friday. You watch. The Lord is going to feed you his word. But also is going to give you good food from today. You hear me? You hear me? And among the feast is gonna give you. It is gonna be your wedding. It's gonna your 
is going to be the opening of your house. The inauguration of your company. The birthday of your children. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> She's under the power. Somebody just love. Seka, seka. That's what's going to happen to all che, of you. Batuka You'll be dancing on oh, the village. Lift your hand and just Wanike love. begin right now. Saturday. I know that how many of you love to eat meat? But make up a woman with yama. Abamba de Mujirota. Some of you have been dreaming about meat. You dream when you're eating meat. <laughs> well, I'm going to get some seven bulls from the farm. Nenda funa yose dumezente, musambo kuva ku farm. So, those of you who want to eat meat. Abo aba womero nyama. Sauro was fed. Yalisi baba mugabula. Prophet Samuel also took a bull to the house of Jesse. Yatwala sedumi munyumba ya Jesse. So I'm gonna give you. Nenda bagabula. Seven bulls. Sedumi musamvu. If you if you love to eat meat. Aba wom aba womi runyama. On Saturday, Kurumoka Garuno, so Rujaruno. Your part of life has become a Kavaga Kobura Mubokata and DC. It has begun now. Kavaga Katandi Sekati. You just be here by eleven minutes. Where Zi Wedi Tan is Okumachova Mokago, where Miss Anna. No more mourning in your life. Techi ali kungu bagambula mubo. No more la. Techi ali bula. Me, I love to give. Nze nyumiru wa nyoku gaba. Abatali nante. Those who don't have cows. Ze vampa kente inga andi moto. One time they gave me a cow. Because I did not breastfeed. Sayonka. I was just drinking milk. My dad bought got. me a car. Tata yangu lide ente. Nezara vana vana. It, it produced four cars. He died at 15 years of age. Tuajitanga chas. We used to call it chas. Ente nezikuwao. 
I lost all the cows. I wonder whether a witch bewitched them. I wonder what they died of. And I didn't have cows then. Until recently. Whoever is on this ground, whoever stood on this ground today, may the Lord give you cows. May the Lord give you cows. May the Lord give you machinery that makes dairy byproducts. May you start selling beef all around us. May the Lord give you land. May the Lord give you possessions. You are very rich. Lift your hand and praise the name of the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah. hallelujah. Wave your hands before the Lord. We'll see you.